that is what's going on. Um, today is a Monday, so I've got to film and edit this whole video um, to upload tonight. And what this video is, is a full day of eating. So I'm filming, well, you, you will have already seen my breakfast, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, about to have lunch, and then I'm going to have my pre workout meal, and then later supper. Um, I do. Like recently I came up with a really good sort of staple for supper but I won't be having that tonight because my mum's cooking supper, like some salmon I think, so I'll just have that. Um, but about breakfast, breakfast was a my usual smoothie, That's I, I literally have that every day. So four bananas, um, two scoops of pro-complex gainer, um, milk and ice, and that's in a Nutribullet. Um, and that comes out to about 1,300 calories um, or 1,400, I can't remember, you would have seen it. Um, and recently I've um, I've realized all my meals put together, all my staples, so that, that breakfast, the normal lunch I have with the chicken, avo and cheese and rice, which I'm about to have, and the, the new supper, which uh, is a staple, which is basically pasta, with a tomato, avo, chicken, and cheese sauce, which is really, really nice, and really calorific as well. Um, those all together, they basically come out to about 3,900 calories, which pretty much isn't enough. So recently I've started having a pre-workout meal, which is generally just like um, peanut butter, uh, or peanut butter and syrup sandwiches, and just have that. And they're just quite good with brown bread. So yeah, go. I'm gonna go ahead and make lunch now um, so yeah I'll show you guys that well fellas so the chickens in the oven got about 10 minutes left and then over here I'm gonna cut up this avo um, and then mash it and that's going on top of the chicken um, just gonna sort of paste it on spread it on and then on top of that some cheese cathedral um, cathedral cheddar mature um, so that's just going to grate it on top and then that'll then put it back in the oven for uh, two more minutes so that will um, melt and be all nice and then over here VT basmati um, yeah so basmati they, they've got loads of different types um, but recently I've been having the basmati I'll definitely go for VT over like tilde or something else um, but VT also have quite a few other types I'll show you here so here's all the um, this focuses these are all basmati see there then this I'm gonna try tomorrow Thai jasmine it just looks quite nice um, slightly bigger grains uh, but it, I think it's slightly softer. I'm not too sure of the actual difference, but yeah, it should be quite nice. There we go. So, as you saw, a bit of salt and pepper. <coughs> that was the uh, low salt, which is some ground pepper and that thing. Um, so, the other today has been really soft, actually, really nice. Um, which, if I was cutting it into slices, wouldn't be good because I'm mashing it. It's perfect. So, really nice and nice and soft, juicy, sort of fruity kind of avo, if you know what I mean rather than like a, like a sort of like a rock which is what it has been in the past um so that's that going to how long's left there's two minutes left on the uh oven so i'm gonna put this on grate the cheese on top that i've really um really cut a hole in it so that just put in the microwave for two minutes. Um, I used to actually cook rice on the pan. If you've seen some of my old videos, 
Um, but that took really long and the rice, because I'm not very good at cooking rice, this is actually just really good. So I'm going to cook the rice in that microwave there. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys an update in a second. Okay, so you're going to put on the avo now. Uh, Spread it. And the other one. And then I'm going to grate on the cheese. Cheddar. Do you get cheddar in America? Comment below if you get cheddar in America, because I'm not too sure. I know it's quite an English thing, so. I went to, like, I went to America a few years ago, and there wasn't cheddar anywhere, so. You gotta really put on a lot, because when it melts down, it really melts down to nothing, so. You just flatten it on. A bit more, that's probably enough now. And the second one. And that is probably done. So you're going to put this back in the oven now. Um, and the VT is in there, about to cook that. Can we just get a quick oven glove? Um, With oven gloves, not too easy. Okay, on this up to two minutes. Okay, now I can put this back in. This can start as well. There we go. Really difficult with oven gloves on. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so that's just come out the oven. You can see it's all melted on. Um, so I'm just going to put that onto there. Here's the rice. Put on some pepper. Um, so that'll be nice. I'm going to put that there and then get some Nando's hot sauce, and that'll be it. Alright, so that's lunch finished. Next thing you guys are going to see is the pre workout meal. So, we'll catch you then. Yeah, guys, so I forgot to say, um, here's the lunch in my fitness pal. You can see there 1,300. Breakfast, remember, I couldn't remember. That was 1,400. Uh, by the way, you'll see that at the top. That's because I've already, I've already planned out the whole day of eating. So, yep. But actually this is going to be slightly different because this is this is a day, you see that that's not today, that date, that's not today, today's Monday, um, hang on, um, and for supper this is my, um, this is my staple for uh, supper, so you can see it's quite high calories, not quite as high as lunch, but still high. Um, but tonight, as I said, I'm not going to be having this, so that that's going to be where this changes. And then this is going to be my pre-workout um, meal. Um, and then I might also add before I go to bed because um, I would. And if I do this, yeah, I would be having. Um, ideally, I'd buy some casein to have before I go to bed. If you don't know, casein is basically 
uh, slow digesting protein, so weighs fast and casein slow. It's a bit like um, brown brown pasta and white pasta, brown slow digesting. So what I think I'm gonna do because I don't I don't really want to buy another supplement because obviously they're quite expensive. Ooh, yeah. Um so what I think I'm gonna do a few days ago, yeah there it is, I bought hang on, let me just turn this around. I bought this because basically yogurt is really high in casein. Wait hang on. Might have been Oh yeah, it was that one, it was that one. I think so. Was it that? Yeah, it was that. Because I was gonna get that, but then I was zero fat, and obviously for bulking, can't have, you, well, you need some fats. So I think I got that. I think that's the right one, but yeah, that's the fridge. So um, I'll be having that before I go to bed, I think. Uh, getting in some of that casein. So this time for real though, I'll see you next at the pre-workout meal. Well fellas, so we've got the pre-workout meal here. Um, peanut butter, as you can see on the bread. I'm gonna put in some, uh, put on some syrup and spread that over. A bit of extra carbs, sugars, a bit of that, and give some good energy for the, um, for the workout. So, yeah, I'm gonna go up and do some deadlift now. I'll see you then. That is what's going on. We're back with a commentary. Um, and as you saw, it was a deadlift leg day. If you don't know, that's I uh, specified that because I've got two uh, types of leg day. One revolves around squats and one revolves around deadlifts. And this is the deadlift one. So as you can see here, I begin with the powerlifting section, which is the two sets of 140 or three plates. So 315 if you're in America. Um, just of one rep um, so I do that that's really that's 10 kg less than my one rep max and that's because I'm really working on strength and nothing else not bodybuilding I'm not trying to get a pump obviously just one rep so that's purely for strength gains next I move on to 120 which is two and a half plates um, I don't know what that is in pounds I'm afraid um, two sets of four reps so starting to shift into slightly higher reps, um, slightly more bodybuilding orientated. Um, so I do that, that is all good. Next I go to 100 kg, which is two plates or 225 if you're in America. Um, two sets of six, so you can see even higher, higher still. Um, not huge amounts of set to say. Um, recently I haven't actually been using straps. Um, at school I never use straps and that's because the bars at school are quite narrow so they're nice to hold whereas the bar at home is quite thick so you usually have to use straps um, if I want to stop my thumbs from bleeding and just being in huge pain but recently I, I've kind of got used to it um, got used to being in pain and just use chalk with hook grip I, I always use hook grip no matter what I'm using an RDX uh, Inza styled belt or just a lever belt probably call it and then just just in socks because I don't have any deadlift slippers as of yet. Next, go on to the um, sort of ex powerlifting accessory movement, which all of my deadlift, squat, and bench routines have. So they two sets of pause um, on 60 kgs or one plate or 135 if you're in America. Um, and you pour, I pause on the way up just off the bottom and on the way down just off the bottom because that is where, when I go for one rep max, that's where my main issue is, getting off the ground rather than locking out. Locking out I never have an issue with, but getting off the ground that's where my issue is. Um, so that is that. Next I go on to the four sets of front squats on exactly the same weight, nine reps. Um, really, well, recently I've, I've realized um, if I grow out my groin, so pushing my knees out really far, it basically means I can make it more compound using not only my quads, hamstrings and glutes, but also my groin, uh, well more. So it basically leads for a stronger lift because I'm using more muscle glutes. Um, it would be like doing bench press as opposed to chest fly, you can do more weight because more muscle groups are involved. Um, 
so that's what I'm focusing on the most with the front squats, pushing the knees out, and obviously depth, we've got to be paramount, so I'm going more, I'm going lower than I have to go for three white lights, um, and I think that's just a good routine to get into, because then depth for three white lights really doesn't seem that deep when the time comes. So after that, I go on to uh, the usual for any leg day, uh, three quad extension supersets. Uh, well, usually I do a superset three sets of quad extensions with hamstring golf, but at home, because I don't have two separate machines and I can't keep changing the settings, I just did three sets of quad extensions um, of 20 reps and three sets of hamstring curls, 20 reps also. What's a bit annoying at home is I have to do single leg, um, so it's kind of like six sets, which takes a lot of time, but that's fine. Really focusing on not letting my glutes do all the work, so trying to keep them at least a bit tensed and not letting my lower back um, sort of cave in and, you know, tense on my abs, trying to keep the whole posterior chain really straight and let the hamstrings be isolated. Um, after that, the usual six sets of calves seated. Now, usually at school, I would do, I would do this on the uh, seated leg press um, and maybe use it a dumbbell rather than a plate, but at home I actually quite like using a plate. Also, I can't use the dumbbells because they've got a really long the bar part of the dumbbell sticks out, so that would be really painful if I uh, if use that. So, six sets of 20 with just 20 kg plates, or if you're in America, 45 pound plate. Um, so, that is it. Um, right now it's about 11.30, uh, the whole day's been done, and I think what you guys are about to see is my supper. So, guys can look at that. That is what's going on, just finished up that legs uh, or deadlift workout um, and unfortunately it took longer than expected so the rest of my family had supper and my supper has just been waiting so it's just there. Um, so obviously it's cold, got to microwave it um, and I mean originally so as you can see it, it was um, made as like a supper for the family and originally I was a bit annoyed because um, I wanted to make my own sort of staple bulking um, my own sort of staple bulking supper you know the pasta with um, tomato, avo, chicken and cheese sauce uh, which I was telling you guys about earlier but this is actually quite good because it means I can show you guys what, what sort of things you can do when you've got a meal that isn't ideal for um, you know what you're trying to do so in my case bulking so obviously here let me just turn this around so for me we see this isn't ideal because there's only there's only five potatoes um, salmon and then ratatouille so not huge very very small amounts of carbs obviously good protein quite good fats I think and then just vitamins, not really any major macros. So I think what I'm gonna do is, ooh, I think I'm probably, cause I can't really make a mess now, I can't start cooking things now, because everything was well, quite late now, everything's already been packed up. So what I'm gonna do is probably just have like some toast, uh, maybe four pieces of toast as sort of a supplement to this. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll just microwave this, eat this. I'm not really gonna track this because I don't. I like in. I mean that. I've got no idea what's in that. So I'm not even gonna try. And that. Those, those look quite good actually. So I'll see you guys with the toast in a bit. Well, I found this, so I was originally going to have some toast, um, but we don't actually have any bread left, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but it's okay, because instead I'm just going to have some bananas. And then I've also got my post workout shake there, which is two scoops of that, which is Pro Complex Gainer. 
and one scoop of that creatine um, and milk not uh, not water I don't, I don't like water shakes because I think the flavoring was made for milk so when I put when I have a shake with water it just tastes really bad with milk it just tastes like a normal milkshake um, so I'm gonna eat and drink that that and then later on because it's only like 9 40 right now later on I'm gonna have my nighttime casein which I was talking about earlier uh, but it's natural it's not a supplement uh, and it's basically just a big yogurt so I'm just gonna have that later but now I don't think I've really told you guys too much about this but you should check out this it's called the channel sort of thing is called songs for gains and it's as you can see my SoundCloud account I just got some really sick tunes um, at the moment I've only got like yeah seven people following me um, but it's just it's a really good workout playlist um, I don't know if I can focus yeah there so it's a really good workout playlist and it's also really really long so there's all these tunes um, and that's really good so give that a follow um, right now I've actually got to edit this then I'm also going to check out some subscriptions um, let's go watch some of these so see you guys in a bit <laughs> Fellas, what's going on? I went down about 10 minutes ago and had my uh, sauce of casein, which as I showed you was the uh, Rachel's vanilla yogurt. Um, so I had that uh, with some honey. That was all good. Um, I couldn't film that, I'm afraid, because, well, it's about, I'll show you, it's uh, quite late now. So couldn't really wake up the whole fam whole family um goes outside my room through there it's darkness and everyone's trying to sleep so yeah so about to um about to finish editing this video this video here is the same video as the one i'm filming right now it's kind of like inception of like videos kind of <laughs> not really so um that's gonna be about it hopefully you guys um, sort of started to realise the importance of uh, food when it comes to like bulking or just anything really bulk bulking or cutting or um, any kind of um, gym related sort of goal you're trying to reach because um, that was kind of the purpose of this video to help you guys realise um, just how important that is and like that's the real secret like this working out which is obviously that's that's the most important thing but everyone knows about that but then food is the second most important thing and a lot of people just neglect that so that's what's very important so I mean that's why I'm posting I mean this is like the I don't know the third full day of eating video so um yeah I mean I don't just do full day of eating videos just for fun it's for you guys to sort of you know, get some ideas for meals, things like that. So that's going to be it. Uh, thanks very much, everyone, for watching. I know it's a much longer video today, um, sort of about 25 minutes, I'm guessing. Uh, so if you're still watching now, thank you so much. I love you. Please do leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.